Hi everybody, welcome to Using Your Graphing Calculator in Math 140, Business Calculus. I'm Fred Feldman, thanks for watching. In this video, we'll learn how to use the graphing calculator to find definite integrals and area under a curve. Here's the steps. I'll walk you through them. Go to the Math menu and choose number 9, the Definite Integral of a Function command. A special format is required to enter the command and I'll show it to you. Then just hit Enter and you're done. Okay? Let's get started. Let's say revenues from a popular movie grew at a certain rate. Can you see that what we're given here is the derivative of a function and not the original function? Two things tell us that. The words rate of change and the prime mark in the function notation both tell us that this is a derivative, not the original function. So to find the function and answer the question, we'll take the antiderivative, or the integral of the function. The definite integral gives an accumulated total, so to find the answer, we'll integrate from 2 to 6. You can do it by hand using paper and pencil, but our graphing calculator will give us the answer too and help us avoid computational errors. Open the calculator. We're at the home screen. You can see the blinking cursor in the upper left-hand corner. From the math menu, choose number 9. You can use the down arrow to get there or just hit the number 9. And then enter the function. There you go. Then we need a comma after the function and then hit the x variable key to us, it's obvious that x is the variable, but we still have to tell the calculator. Followed by another comma, lower limit, comma, upper limit, close parentheses, and hit enter. There's our answer. The total box office revenue for our movie between the end of the second week and the end of the sixth week is about $180 million. There's also a brand new website from Wolfram Research, the company that made the famous programs Mathematica and the website MathWorld. Go to wolframalpha.com and type in the command, just as you'd say it in English, and hit the equal sign, and bam, there's the answer. This site uses all the known knowledge in the world to calculate the answer to any question you ask in math or science, medicine, chemistry, biology, politics, geography, history, etc. It's amazing. You must check it out. It's free, too. You could also get the answer by hand using paper and pencil and the substitution technique. Here it is. I'll slowly scroll down through it. It's a lot of work. Technology saves all this work and, as I mentioned earlier, allows us to avoid the chance of a computational error. So it's definitely helpful and I hope you use it whenever possible. Because the definite integral calculates accumulated totals, it gives us the area under a curve above the x-axis between the vertical lines x equals the lower limit and x equals the upper limit. Here's an example. It's a probability density function for men's height. When you calculate the definite integral from x equals 66 to x equals 74, the area under the curve will be the probability that a man's height lies on that interval. Now, this particular function here is an example of one that cannot be found by hand, so we must use technology. Okay, it's pretty complicated. But let's give it a try. This, this is about as complicated a function as you can enter into the graphing calculator. Here's the instructions from our textbook. It shows two different ways to get the answer, A and B. We'll do them both. Okay, here's part A first. 
From the home screen, hit F1, the Y equals button, and enter the equation. It's very, very complicated. I'm going to do it for you here in a second. Be careful, very careful. There's a lot of nested parentheses. There. Once the equation is entered, let's adjust the viewing window. So hit F2 window. And let's go from 60 to 80 on the x-axis with a tick mark every two units. And on the y-axis, go from 0 to 0 0.15 with a tick mark every five hundredths of a unit. That should be a nice window. Okay, let's hit F5 graph. And there it is, the beautiful bell-shaped curve. Now, let's calculate the definite integral. Since the function's entered as y1, we've got it displayed in the window. Let's go to the Calculate menu. Press 2nd, F4, and go to the Calculate menu, and choose number 7, the integral of a function command. It's asking for the lower limit. Type 66 and hit Enter. Now it's asking for the upper limit. Type 74 and hit enter and there it is the calculator will shade in the region below the curve between the upper and lower limits and above the x-axis and tells us there's about an 83 percent probability that a man's height will be between those numbers pretty cool huh all right let's try part b remember our textbook gave us another way to find this definite integral Let's go back to the home screen, so I'll hit second, quit, and type, uh, hit the math key. Remember we used this command earlier, it's uh, number 9 to find the definite integral of a function. Now that equation was very, very complicated and I do not want to type it in again. But wait, it's already entered in the calculator as y1, right? So I can paste that in here. We did this in one of my earlier videos. We'll go to the variables key. So hit vars, right arrow to the y vars, choose number one, choose number one again, and there it is. So paste it into the command will be that big long probability uh, density function there, and I don't have to type it in again. But I do need the comma. And then I have to hit the X variable key, and then the lower limit, comma, and the upper limit, comma, close parentheses. And let's see if I get that same answer, about 83%. Ta-da! See? So there's another way to get the answer. Pretty cool, huh? That's the beauty of math and technology. We have so many options. Well, I enjoyed showing you all these different ways to find definite integrals and areas on your curve. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.